Here with Mike Silliman, he is known as a tire man. This is the right front tire off the Jeffrey Abel Isma car that won the race this past weekend at Star Speedway. You can see there's a lot of rubber on there because of hot tire driving through Victory Lane and other places. What they're going to do is they've got to scrape this tire because they're going to rescale the car. And from what uh, Jeffrey told me earlier, there can be as much as maybe a pound or even more per tire. So Mike, is there an art to this? No, not really. Um... You don't want to ruin the tire, but uh, the thing is, it's just a uh, just a cheap heat gun with a blade from Sherwin Williams. That uh, I got it at a forty percent discount because my son works there. <laughs> there you go. So, but uh, no, you want to just clean it up good so you can see, you know, what you got there, and you can see all this, you know, picked up all this rubber. Um, just kind of slide it around. Once the heat gets in it, this will roll off real easy. Because it's just excess that you picked up after, you know, the marbles and stuff, so. But uh, we're going to How close are the wear marks? Because we haven't gotten to one yet, have we? No, we're getting down there. Um, should be right about here. But well, we didn't uh, wear the tire too bad. Star you. Well, this is not easy. Yeah. They make it look so easy in the NASCAR races. I watch them do it. They just, of course, the tire's hotter because it just came off the car. Yeah. Probably makes it easier. Oh, yeah, it's definitely easier. It's okay. Hotter, they're probably in better shape than me, too. <laughs> yeah, there is a strength and accuracy <laughs> factor here, you know. And no, I'm not going to try it, guys. I'll be the one yeah. to jam that thing right in there and ruin the tire. So, uh, yeah. so it's got to be on one side here or another eventually. So, so uh, a lot of these we kind of might uh, seal over them, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll just try to uh, find some marks here. It's not having much luck here. <laughs> it's okay. Further. We got a lot of we got a big memory car. It's yeah. okay. I can see, see how this is a workout. Yeah. Time you, you need to take a break before you finish these tires, don't yeah. you? But, uh, so guys, work out if you want to be a tire guy. Okay. You're gonna need the extra strength. Will you actually weigh that rubber? Or you? Uh, we could. See, here's a, we're down to one of the marks here. Okay. And we still have pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of rubber. I mean, the car was handling so well. Got room to push and, it forward uh, a little bit so we can see them? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you can see There's the, one. Uh, I'll give you another one here. But, uh, the car handled well, and Jeff's always so good as far as, uh, Keeping tires on a race car. Yeah. Um, he pushes it when he has to push it, and he's, you know, easy. And is that one right there? Yep. There's That's one, one right there. Okay. There's one right here. Okay. So, uh, you know, you that. You can see it. Yeah, this one's kind of digging up a little. Like that. Up a so there it is right there. There's yeah. one of the ones. And they go like that, don't yeah, they? They don't go straight across, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So you can see one more here, and then we're almost to the end there. And, uh, so it's kind of tough to tell exactly. I mean, how deep are those wear marks like on a new tire? They're like 5, 30 seconds of tread. Okay. So it's not a lot, you know? No, it's not. I mean, if you came into the shop with one of those, you'd be close on your inspection, you know? But... Uh, you know, they keep the tread light um, for wear reasons, you know, less uh, thickness, less heat. And uh, so it's kind of a trade-off, but uh, yeah. they came with a good, you know, they've got it all figured out, the engineers are Hoosier, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you gotta. This is where they, so they're, I'm gonna change my focus That's a little That's got a little uh, digging in, I think something was probably at our, Rock mm -hmm. embedded in it or something, but Pat's over my shoulder checking it out right now too. So how do you know? I'm going to leave the camera right on those those yeah. two right where your finger is right yeah. now. So how do you know? How do you know how deep that is? Yeah, just just an eyeball on that. You probably got. I mean, it's probably two and a half, three thirty seconds. So tires maybe half worn. Pat, you said it looks great. Is the word you yeah, used? Yeah, it's, it's even wear across the tire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you look for. It's, like it's that. not yeah. chiseling the inside of it off or anything here. Yeah. Yeah, the street tires with treads, it's very easy to tell when your front end is either out of alignment or something because you'll get an uneven wear pattern. So. Well, well if, the car's, if the car's tight and it's pushing, you'll get a lot of graining in here. Oh. And it looks good. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one wore, wore really well. Right. Now we see those do the same thing to the other tire, and then once all that weight's off of there, we'll scale it again, right, Pat? Yeah. That way. Because again, remember how small your wheel weights are in your car that balances your tires. So, right. what are those weigh? What's the range on those? Wheel weights? Yeah, wheel yeah, weights. Some quarter ounce up to two and a half ounces. Quarter ounce. So, yeah, so you throw a pound mm -hmm. of rubber on there. Yeah, but that's that rubber. Yeah, right, that's, 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 this is what you. the tire looks like yeah. when he's racing. This was after the race right. was over. Right. Yep. Actually, that's from pushing it through the infield to go to the scales. Yeah. <laughs> that's where all that grass and everything is. All right. So I know you guys have seen this done in NASCAR and you probably wondered what they're looking for. Well, now you know. So. Yeah. Hit that blue E, guys, subscribe. You come up with a nice tech idea, something we can do to, to teach you something, you just let us know. Still using the same email as we did back in the website days, Doug at DougDirectDiary.com. Of course, if you're on Facebook and you're watching us there, you can always send us a message that way or leave a comment. Again, thanks, guys, for having me out. I hope you learned something here. And uh, ISMA season is over, but now the real work begins as the teams get ready for 2023.